I was just doing a, a video and it was coming out about somebody being missing that has a Tesla. I don't know if this person took off because they got themselves caught up in some bullshit with like gang members or owing somebody money or something, but this was somebody that was initially um, like trying to intimidate another person. And in the midst of that happening, they got themselves caught up with some bad people and now they can't find this person. The message was too all over the place. So if it comes out again, I'll do it. But as for right now, if you knew that there was somebody that drives a Tesla that was like a bully, a male bully, and it was a female that they were coming for duty, I don't know, somebody could have thought that it was their duty to do some shit like that. But um, whatever it is this person's missing now so if it comes out again i'll bring it out again but the message before that also was that somebody is uh at a point in their life where things need there's there's change that's needed it's the same shit the first word that came out was cycle um cycle and cycle and then with tv so somebody's either in a recurring cycle of non-stop watching tv sitting in bed um, maybe hanging, I don't know, whatever it is, somebody's stuck in a fucking cycle, but I have a feeling it has to do with, um, either friendships, part relationships, um, family members, whatever it is, it's, it's somebody can't get out of it, and, and, and the, with the tower card came out so many times that it's just non-stop tower moments are happening, and it's because of somebody needing to focus and work on their gifts that, that was given to them by ancients, because the word ancient popped up. Somebody's supposed to be working on something that's going to wind up bringing them good things. They're supposed to be focused on that. They're supposed to be practicing, or they're supposed to be like sharpening some kind of skill that they have, but instead they're in like a cycle of like television eating or something like that so let me let's just see what i want to get a new message because it, it just was seemed like it was a quick message from somebody's ancestors going did you say you wanted to change did you say you wanted your life to be different that's that's the definition of insanity is doing the same shit over and over and over again and thinking the outcome is going to be different so that was for somebody let's get um change your password jesus christ man really this has to be the first one that comes out again this morning I flipped cards, man, and that was the first one that came out. Hold on a second. Let's get some letters before we even get into some shit, man, because there's somebody still trying to hack. Or are they for somebody? They did get in your shit. All right, give me some initials for who needs to change their password, please. D or G. U or P. One more, please. <laughs> K or E. This could be Kevin, Keith. So D, G, U, P, K, or E. Okay, change your password. Scorpio. Yeah, maybe you're realizing that you have to change your passwords often, or maybe, yeah, yes, somebody's, um, hold on, tell me about this change your password, change your password, yeah, somebody's mad that they're broke, man, somebody's pissed off that they're homeless or they don't have any fucking money, so be wary of this person, man, and this could be somebody that's near you, but let me get some initials for somebody, because you, you may be around the person that's actually doing this, his his password change his password is, is it a male that's that's hacking tell me the truth spirit is it a male that's that's hacking okay okay tell me the truth are there is there men on the other end that need to change their passwords too yes yeah, so i guess there's going to be males on both give me some initials for whoever is behind this um that that's broke and they're pissed off give me some initials for Whoever this person is that's either hacking or getting other people, someone to do it for them. Because they don't have any money at all. 
Give me some initials, please, for this person that's broke or for whoever these people are. Passenger, but the passenger, uh, J or S, this could be Justin, Jason. There's definitely a Jason or a Justin somewhere attacking V or O. Okay. Passenger. You could have been in a car with this person or something like that. Like passenger. But this side's also a passenger rides along, right? Somebody else is in control of the vehicle and the passenger goes along. This is somebody that's always used to getting a free ride. And now they can't. They're broke. Somebody doesn't have anybody to be codependent um, on right now. And they're mad about this. So this is all they, they know how to do. This is somebody that, whether it's a man or a woman, they get into relationships for some kind of security, some comfort, roof over their head, money. And now somebody's probably got at a point in their life where the universe is separating um, people from this person or whoever this is for you. And now they don't have any money. Yeah, no. No, don't, don't, this part with the passenger, don't get in a vehicle with somebody if you feel like they're, they're off or something's off with them. Somebody's so broke, A or L, this could be Alan or Alex. Why is no here? Tell me what no is. Why? No, with the hermit. Just stay to yourself, Virgo energy, though. Stay to yourself. If some, with a passenger, if somebody asks you to go for a ride somewhere, don't get in the car with somebody because I feel like they're so broke. They could be either get, trying to get you to get into their vehicle to either like so they can get close to your phone to, to hack it or clone it. Tell me the truth, spirit. Yeah, don't, don't go. Tell me the truth, spirit. Don't get in a passenger seat. Don't don't be a passenger in this person's whip. Don't do nothing, okay? What's JVA as well? Hold on a second. Ava, it's it's like a nickname for Ava. Joint venture company disputes initial considerations. With joint venture, joint venture. So that but that's what this is. But passenger, somebody may. Um, ask you to go in partners or something or they may say yo man i got this business deal or i want to talk to you about something but no say no to this shit because somebody's broke and they're they're trying don't invest don't give anybody any money don't it just really feels like somebody's going to try and say like yo you want to come in on this man this is like don't trust this person virgo energy yeah this this person is struggling to find a partnership too. Gemini, there, there's a Virgo that's having a hard time finding a relationship right now. This is, or this is someone that's being forced into isolation because of the way that they treated people in the past. You know, somebody, yeah, somebody is like, they invest in sex only, or they invest in trying to have a new start in life by getting into relationships they don't even want to be in. Fully legal, right? That's all they do. So somebody just just got themselves into a lot of illegal shit. Okay, study. Somebody is studying another person, or they've been studying you. Uh oh! Did he just say this guy's probably going to jail for life? There's somebody that's going to. Uh, oh, okay. Somebody's uh having a hard time doing. So okay, I what I also see is somebody may know that they're being watched and they're being very careful. So they may be trying to partner up and have other people do this. Somebody's having other people hack for them because I feel like they know that there's um, some kind of investigator or detective energy. Yeah, so, so they're not doing it themselves. 
this is somebody who will definitely throw anybody under the bus, man. So if there's, if, if for, I don't know who's watching, but if you, if there's somebody that you're around that's like, yo, hack this for me, hack, don't do it. Say no. Some, somebody's being investigated. So anybody that hacks for this person um, or, or says, yo, can you do me a favor and try to get into this? You know, they're fucking broke. They're supposed to be broke. If you try helping them out when they're going through this, you're going to wind up losing. Powerful. Somebody could have thought that they were very powerful, but now it's like they're just losing shit, okay? Um, somebody wanted to be, th this person wanted to be known as somebody that was powerful and that had some kind of like, I don't know, title. It just feels like they don't. If they weren't in a relationship or married or had a girlfriend or boyfriend, they wouldn't be shit because they, they, they've got everything off the backs of, of someone else, so... valuable know your worth shopping addiction that's what this is this person doesn't see people as value that's what it is this person doesn't value friendships they don't value relationships they value the shit that they can buy and they could also drive like an asshole tell me about this shopping addiction Tell me about this shopping addiction. Look at how nasty, man. Now, now I guess, um, so this is somebody who's used to flaunting and showing things that they have, but they didn't get it themselves. They get it through hacking and stealing. So it's like now somebody's losing everything. They're, they're, they're not able to, with the helmet, I don't know. Somebody could just be like one of those friggin' momos, man, right? <laughs> like running, uh, someone needs a helmet maybe because they keep running into a brick wall. It's like running and running and knocking themselves out. Somebody's just very vengeful, man. Very vengeful. Five of swords. Yeah, yes. Like, this person is used to portraying themselves as something. And now they're in a position where they have to ask. They really probably were supposed to be a beggar. This sounds like somebody who was born into bad karma. And they were never supposed to have the life that they either thought they had or at one point they could have. But the way that they got it was from doing nefarious shit. You don't get to do that. Something's coming back to this person now for all of this. Gemini energy, that's why I said, like, Gemini's coming up heavy. So I don't know who the Gemini is here. There's definitely a Gemini or they're jealous of you, Gemini. But this is somebody, tell me about why the lovers here. For some of you, this is a sibling of yours that has a shopping addiction. Hmm? No love though, right? This is some N, somebody's name could begin with the letter N. But this is, um... This is somebody that doesn't get into relationships because they, they love the person. They get into relationships with people because they want other people to buy them shit. Adam. So that could be for someone in particular that someone named Adam in this situation. Yeah, somebody may want to say, like, let's make up. You know what I mean? Gemini, uh, this person broke your heart or you did this to somebody. Uh, they could have broke your heart and moved on and left you with some kind of bills or something or they always fucking do yeah because it's a karmic masculine you're realizing hierophant you were married to this person and this person is always getting into committed relationships somebody could even have multiple wives more than one wife whoever this person is they're an opportunist they don't like women uh if it's a man they i mean a woman they don't like men really they only get into relationships for what they can get out of somebody I want to get some, I wanted to use the boggle in this one actually. Out of sight, out of mind, this shit was. Ho is the first one I seen. Map, pet. So this person treats their, their relationships they, uh, like, like they're pets. They, they probably talk about women like they're hoes. It sounds like a male, but I mean, this could be, you know, whatever. It, it, they've had nothing but male names pop up, even in the last one. So I do feel like this could just be an energy all across the board of just men who were using women because they have shopping addictions. Like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, uh, me and my wife are having problems right now. We're losing, so let me go try and find another chick on the side, even if I have to marry her secretly, because it's all about, like, what I'm portraying myself to be in the public eye. I need people to think I have a great life, and I couldn't do it without these women. So I need to find another one. I feel like nobody wants this motherfucker no more. 
because they're finding out about somebody's past. That this person uh, did something dirty either to a Gemini or, or they just, they, they, they've hurt people in their, in their relationships in the past, like physically, emotionally, it, it, it's a, an abusive person. And now I don't feel like people want anything to do with this person. I see hate as well. Tear, this person could be crying. Tap also. I do feel like somebody's phone is tapped or something is tapped. It could, it could even be like where they live, man. could be wired. Thank you. Summon. Yeah, this is... <laughs> That's what they do, though. Look, and focus. That's what they do. This is preying on somebody. Summon them. I'm going to focus on you, okay? I'm going to focus on you. Somebody could be messing with spell work and shit because they have a shopping addiction and they're losing everything now. This person could have been doing money spells on you, Gemini, or you were doing this, or this person just does that. 13 or, four or 17 could mean something, but this is somebody that's, I got my eye on you. Cause you're a good girl and you know it. Right, and they know it too, this dude. So it's like, let me watch you. Let me pray on you. Let me study you. This is somebody that will pay attention to what you say, the kind of shit you're interested in, and then all of a sudden it's like, hey, how you doing, man? Nice to see you at the park. This motherfucker can't stand outside and can't stand nature. He's probably an energy vampire that likes to sit in the basement all day in the dark, right? Whatever this is, though, this someone was very good. This is like, look, at Target. That's giving up the bow and arrow. That's like somebody's very good at, at very cleverly picking out who's going to be my next sugar mama. And somebody can't do that. It feels like karma's here for somebody because of this. Next, yeah, somebody's trying to find out who their next, or they're trying to find another victim or something. Lost weight. This person could have even lost weight um, because of them losing everything. It's stressing them out. Summon somebody was definitely messing with some kind of spell work or energy. This could be somebody that's trying to pull you in energetically. So do a cord cutting, listen to a cord cutting frequency. Yep, somebody definitely, uh, Gemini. I feel like for somebody in particular, you cut a cord with this person, or this person can't. This would be the type of person where with the summon, like, I said, come here, stop what you're doing. I said, and now somebody's like, bitch, I'm sorry, who said what? Who's that one nigga? Yeah, that's what I feel like. Somebody's like, bitch, uh, I don't get summoned by no motherfucking body, okay? Tell me about this um, karmic cycle complete. Because you realize this person ain't no good, okay? Tell me about this karmic cycle complete. Tell me who completed this karmic cycle here. Who, who completed this karmic cycle? Tell me about it. Sagittarius. Amazing. Or your ancestors were protecting you the whole time. Tell me more. Karmic cycle complete. I feel like you're, you're, ooh, damn, you see that shit? Yeah, look, I feel like you on your journey. Somebody's like, look, I just need to work on myself now, damn it, okay? That's what I need to do because I need, I know that I am not an option. I know that I am like, I'm the shit. Somebody knows their worth. So now somebody's trying to figure out who their next prospect is, is what I feel like here. And they're having a hard time doing it. Next level sports. So somebody may be trying to take it to the next level on how they can steal from people. Like what? What's? It, I feel like somebody was a master at stealing, hacking, conning, putting all the focus on someone else or anybody else but themselves. Property manager trying to get you to move. So this could be your landlord or, or a manager where you're at in some way, trying to get uh, get you to leave in some way. Ancestors stepped in with this motherfucker. Thank you, ancestors. Okay. What happened now? What's up with your property manager? Something may have happened that you don't even know about, man. Brother. So this, this person could have done something or had their brother, Larry. Is that his name? Drone down. Okay, somebody got their brother to do something. Their brother's name could definitely be Larry. The ancestors stepped in. What was this person trying to do? Was this person trying to hack your shit? 
I know that drone costs more than your car. Tell me about the brother. Tell me about the property manager's brother. Oh, it's over for this motherfucker. Somebody being watched. Someone came full circle for this for their brother. Now, for somebody here, your property manager is your brother, and you're having problems with this person. But for others, someone else isn't the brother of the property manager. Yeah, somebody's money is slowing down. So something came full circle for this property manager and possibly his brother if he works um, side by side with a brother to hack. I feel like somebody was trying to slow money down or steal something from you, and now something came full circle here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Something's over though. What were they trying to do? Yep. They were trying to steal from this Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, possibly a Libra. Hmm. See how she holding on her money real tight? Somebody's like, bitch, I protect my shit, motherfucker. Okay. They could have been trying to hack you if you're an earth sign or you're just this person that's good with money with the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody ain't got, don't have no money here, huh? I feel like they try to do this while you're sleeping. Because I'm noticing like that she's sleeping and they think that, that you know what I mean? This motherfucker can't even get a cheesesteak, man. Somebody got it real bad right now. So somebody's going through this and it's what you're supposed to go through, sir. It's your time. Somebody keeps trying to constantly like... I feel like somebody really thinks that they're like bigger than the universe it feels like somebody somebody's life is a constant just slap in the face this property manager and it's because of how they live their life you don't get to steal odd somebody somebody could, could i don't know I, the property manager could be acting odd they could just be an odd person or the brother is or the whole family is man it could just be a whole family of uh, odd motherfuckers <laughs> um tell me about this odd odd uh, Divine Feminine, Libra Taurus, they could think that you're odd. Hmm? Somebody also could have been left out in the cold by a wife, either a Libra Taurus or Gemini. Somebody got left out in the cold. Yeah, now they're going through struggle because they're by themselves. Whoever this is, ma'am, my baby. What's up with my baby? Odd and my baby in doctrine. Odd, my baby. My baby. Why is my baby popping up? Is that what they call you? My baby. Come on, baby. That's my baby right there. Hold on a second. There's a Libra or a Taurus or some kind of Empress energy here where the ancestors stepped in for you, Divine Feminine. Somebody was trying to steal something from you or hack you. The property manager could be trying to get you to move enough oh my goodness i guess someone's ancestors are like enough this is enough is enough is enough like okay this is you know another crazy thing too there's a property manager for somebody who keeps sending people to try to um i guess just do something to this divine feminine and i think that once people get to know you What's coming full circle is that people actually see that you're a reliable and loyal friend. You're a good person. Like, why Why would I do this to this person? Why, maybe some people are realizing that they're getting karma. Like, if you're going to take the side of somebody that would steal from you too and, and help them steal from somebody that would actually be a good friend to you, how, do you, how could you possibly think that that is going to work out well for you? Tell me about this Empress. Give me some initials for this Empress, please. This loyal friend... Um, this Empress. Some initials, please. First initials, please. W or S. Initials P or W. Heavy on the W. I P. Heavy on the W and the P here. Tennessee. You could live in Tennessee. Doesn't have to be, though. Hmm. Somebody is making a fool of themselves, and I feel like it's constant, man. What goes around comes back around. Now this person is property manager. Their money is funny. And it's because they kept repeatedly trying to do some shit to this divine feminine. It'll never work out for you, bro. Never. 
Oh, simple and blatant when butter snaps appear. Hold on, what does it mean in text? When butter snaps appear, what the fuck does that even mean? Wholesale price? It's not Urban Dictionary. Wholesale price. Wholesale goods. Wholesale. Wholesale. This could even be drugs. Somebody, somebody could have been selling drugs or something like that. Maybe they're trying to buy something in bulk so that they can they can sell drugs. Is it wholesale? That's what this, so there's a property manager that's trying to get, I don't know if they always were selling drugs, but that's what they're trying. They're trying to steal enough money off of somebody so that they can re-up. How you almost won. Somebody only works out of their lower self. That's it. They don't have a higher self. Somebody's complete, their higher self is completely gone. <laughs> now something came full circle for somebody's brother though, man. It could have been a younger brother. <laughs> Tell me about burn. Somebody got burnt or they burn people. Maybe that's what it is. Like it's like enough here, enough doctrine, like enough. It's like the doctrine though for me also is just like some kind of belief. Like what is this belief? I feel like somebody's uh, with it, with the belief, with the property manager, all this stuff. I feel like somebody really believes that they have the kind of power where they can get someone to move or kick them out or and it just keeps coming back and biting them in the ass. It's like a constant thing of being slapped in the fucking face. It's that snake I'm being drawn to again. All of these people on the outside of this. Like, look at this person. This could even be you. You know, where you got your shit real tight because it's a boa constrictor. Like, maybe you got this security on your shit real fucking tight, Divine Feminine. And all of these people can't get in your shit. Whether this is your phone, your account, your bank stuff, whatever. Somebody's very good at protecting their shit. Intuitively, they know when someone is coming around. Tell me about this wholesale. Wholesale. Yeah, somebody was waiting on something. Waiting on something. They could have they could have already had somebody going, yeah, man, I got this for you. Where's the money and shit like that? Now somebody doesn't have the fucking money. They burnt somebody. Uh, they could have burnt a drug dealer. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Thank you. So somebody could have gotten a front from a dealer. And now they can't give the money back. Yes, they don't have it. So they burnt this person now. Or their brother did. They could have burnt their own brother. Whatever this is, though. I don't know whether they're working together, the brother and the property manager. You know, whatever it was. Um, somebody was like, or somebody's like, where's my shit, motherfucker? Where's my shit? So now they're waiting, waiting right on what... Yeah, now they just fighting. I feel like somebody's like, bitch, I waited long enough. I want my motherfucking money. Justice. Mm -hmm. I also feel like somebody was anticipating on you popping off or, or you fighting and possibly with the justice card getting you locked up. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. You can't mess with wisdom. You just can't. God, they're constantly falling on the floor. I don't know what's up with that. Somebody keeps falling. Somebody's like life is in the gutter. Somebody keeps, every time they come for this divine feminine man, it's like an instant slap in the face. Look, I feel like somebody, this is like, somebody really thought that they had the kind of power to bring some kind of discord into your life and to put you like this. I, this person's like this now. Backwards. I hear the reverse. Beep, beep. Somebody keeps going backwards in life. It's because of how they're treating this woman. Or just women. This could just be somebody that, that doesn't respect women. And you are where it stops, Divine Feminine. You are the woman that this person has no choice but to, but to respect. Because he keeps lo losing. Every time. I feel like somebody anticipates, right? You fighting with neighbors or something as a property manager, like to move, I'm done, I'm done, I'm gonna move, and I can't take it anymore, I'm all in my head, and then I'm gonna leave. And so what happens instead? What happens instead? So, so, because I don't feel like you leave, or maybe you did, for somebody, you may have just moved, man, but 
if this is about taking a stance and defending yourself, okay, and that's what it's about, and there might not be any people who understand that. You could have a situation where you could live in a fucking place where you don't even want to be there, but it's the principle of somebody trying to tell you when you can be there or not. Maybe this is a form of bullying or gang stalking. You're like, bitch, I don't want to be here either, but I'm not going to leave till I fucking say I'm going to leave, G. And that's pretty simple. So there may be some people that don't understand why you really are somewhere or why you don't leave, and it's because of the self-respect you have for yourself of trying to be pushed out. This could be a situation where maybe this happened to you in other lifetimes, yeah, where people pushed you out of your own home, maybe even pushed you out of your own business. Whatever it is, it's like it feels like it's a lot deeper than just them making it uncomfortable for you to live somewhere. This is about respect. Look, and that's what happens instead. You get blessed, motherfucker. Mm hmm. I feel like. Look at how the pentacles, I said, and then what happens, right? Boom, nine of pentacles. You get some kind of blessing or it's crazy, man. It is. It's crazy. The higher thing, you could be a Taurus or you're just committed to whatever this is, this situation. Whatever this is, somebody is committed to it. I know what's going on here and I know that I have to stand my ground. And every time I do, this bitch gets blessed and the property manager in someone's situation loses every time. It's because they are not realizing the bigger picture. What is the bigger picture here? What's the bigger picture in this situation? I guess it's going to be different for everybody listening, but it feels like it's respect. That's what it feels like. Somebody's being forced to respect a woman and they don't like it. Tell me about what, you know, give me some more about this situation. <laughs> damsel, right? I, I feel like somebody thinks that all women are like that. Somebody really thought that you were some kind of fucking like, like that you were going to need them for something, man. You, you could also be mirroring somebody's behavior or some people's behavior and they think that you're the problem, divine feminine or whoever you are. They think, damn, this person's crazy. Or they act like this and it's like maybe when you're by yourself, you're completely different. Like, bitch, I only act like what I'm around, okay? You could definitely be a hayoka. Or somebody just keeps making an absolute fool of themselves, thinking that you're some kind of damsel in distress or some shit like that. Yeah, because you're a divine being, bitch. That's why. Somebody relies on the universe to provide for them. Somebody knows. Yeah, you could definitely be a Hayoka with this Messiah. Are you kidding me? That, hello. That's like literally somebody saying like the, the, the character of Jesus, like right, what that is. Is, is a type of being, a type of humanitarian type of being. This is foreign to them. You could have a lot of foreigners doing this, or you could be the foreigner and you just have whatever this is, but it's foreign to somebody. I feel like they don't know what to make of this. It's like, I never seen a woman this strong, or I don't know how this person keeps gaining. And Because you're trying to make someone lose, punk, and that doesn't work well. You are never gonna be a man trying to make a woman lose and win, okay? You'll never, I mean, I'm sure that he probably has, but it was like through, if this dude put just as much work in his job, this property manager, right? If he actually put as much energy into doing his motherfucking job as he does trying to destroy people who actually bring business to this place, his life would be a lot different. Tell me about this divine... His friend died. I don't know. Somebody, somebody's losing people at a rapid rate. Whether it's people getting locked up, people don't want nothing to do with them. They could be getting uh, they, sad. Maybe it is sad. Leo. So either you are this divine being, or this could be the person on the other side. But you're just that happy. It's like somebody can't take your fucking happiness from you, no matter what they do. Sad and against. It's really sad. I feel like it's really sad that some of these people even wanted to come against you. We, I mean, this. Look at this. Look at this fucking just divine being, sun card, happy messiah. Like, bitch, I'm somebody that'll actually give you. I'll do something for you and not expect anything in return. It's really sad. It really is. It, it feels sad. It feels like these people are sad. That would rather come against somebody that would have been the best friend that they ever had in their life. Yeah, I feel like people regret this though. They'll or they're gonna regret coming against you. Tell me about this sun card. They, they cannot take your essence, whoever you are. They, they, I feel like these people try to get you caught up in shit to act all ghetto and shit. Like, so you'll come out of pocket because maybe they, they realize you're just a different type of person. They would rather you go outside screaming profanities and ripping your clothes off and fucking doing stupid shit in front of, you know what I mean? But you don't. 
I just feel like you're just kind of like, maybe you go, maybe you teeter, maybe you maybe you're like, oh, bitch, I want to come outside, but I feel like it's just at the end, yeah. So you got a Leo and and um a Gemini somewhere, or this is just you, man. You're a happy person, and it's because because of that you're happy. You could be an Earth sign. You don't have to be though, but I feel like you're just happy because you manifest and bring great things in like you you understand this look at how these flowers are growing under here you know everything seems to be different in your life than for this property manager and the people who are working with this person it's like there's death destruction darkness and gloom and then you have this on the other side you got sunshine and flowers and shit like that it's like i don't know it just feels like camilla i don't know what camilla is but that can mean something for you but it just feels to me like um that's the choice that you made, right? You wanted to come against this divine being. And the divine beings always make people's lives better. Yeah. If they were doing some kind of spell work, financial, on you, I feel like you were protected. But this person keeps trying to get you to move away, and it's, it's only fucking this person up, man. Whoever this property manager is, like, why do you want this person to leave so bad? What is your problem with this person? What, what is this divine... What is his problem? What is... Death. Oh... You, are you exposing this person for, for being a murderer? Mm -mm. Well, that'll do it. If you know that your property manager had something to do with some, somebody's death, um, this could be the reason why they're trying to get you to leave healed. I see that there's a Scorpio that healed as well. But you heal from like maybe I feel like somebody had like a near death like you may not even have realized how sick you were. It, it looks like you were on the verge of like that. You could have died and came back, bitch. Okay, but what this is is somebody was healed themselves from some kind of like it could have been a terminal thing that you didn't even realize that you had. Property manager, property manager healed. Hold up. Property manager. Is there a Scorpio here? Tell me the true spirit. Is this a Scorpio property manager? Yeah, tell me the true spirit. Is there a Scorpio property manager somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Tell me the true spirit. Okay, so you could have a Scorpio somewhere that actually did. You could have helped the property manager as well. I mean, this could be more than one. People believe you now. Okay. Either they believe you that this property manager had something to do with killing people. Ketamine. Oh boy. Is this was this property manager putting something in people's drinks? Ketamine? Knocking people out? Pad, what's up with pad? With the death thing, somebody could have taken like some kind of um pad out or your 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 menstrual stuff out of hold on, tell me the true spirit. Is this death have something to do with pad? Is that like fertility spells? Tell me the true spirit. Is that like death spells and stuff like that? Yeah. So you healed yourself. Somebody could have been sending so much death energy towards you, man. But the fact that you healed yourself, it just it won't it, it doesn't fit in your energy field. You feel me? Now that death energy is going back and the lower attribute of this is inability to defend oneself against negative forces. So whatever negative death energy that this property manager was sending towards somebody, the fact that you're healed is why it's not working. So if you're healed, your delivery is different. The way you handle situations is different. So this property manager was probably only successful, bitch, at, at uh, getting other people either to leave, move, get locked up, trap somebody with the ketamine, trap. Is somebody getting exposed for maybe trying to trap people or lead them or lure them to a trap? Yeah, something's up with this property manager and ketamine. People believe you, what? Wow, okay. They, I feel like somebody with Leo energy, but I feel like people believe you when you said that this person drugs people. That they're a thief, that they're a liar, and that they're a con man. Tell me about the ketamine. What's up with the ketamine here? 
putting this shit and I don't know, it's like knocking people out and stealing from them. Ketamine. What's this? Work at their job with their, uh, oh no. This could be a couple that even does this, man. This could be a property manager and his wife do this at their job. Taurus. You could be a Taurus or dealing with one. Oh boy. If there's a husband and wife, if there's um, a, a married couple that, that manage a property together, they're both on some bullshit. Both of these people are on some fucking bullshit, man. Ritual. You could have been telling people that they mess with spell work or they do some kind of dark ass shit with the sniper at the bottom. That's that could be what's in. Like if somebody had like a sniper thing set up or they were it's like a tranquilizer thing with ketamine or something like that. I don't know. It just feels like somebody was real good from the low standpoint. Like if you wanna if you wanna say like I can be the lowest piece of shit on the planet, they were real good at that. But that's about it. Watching videos about chosen ones. Somebody is. There's a property manager somewhere that's like, damn, man, I mean. Or there's multiple people that maybe were coming up against this divine being, not at rest. These people can't. I feel like some people are a little concerned. Heaven, about whether they're going to heaven. There could be some people who are, are now worried about what happens after I die because of the way that they treated this divine being here. Yeah, they should have been worried about this before, though. It always gets to the point where there literally could be somebody that actually, like, is ready to die soon because of this shit. There could be a property manager that, that is, like, on the verge of death. Or they're not telling anybody that they were diagnosed with something here. I don't like the death card with the ketamine. So either they sell this, all right? The property manager either sells it or he uses it for security in some way at his job. There's some kind of job security. That the, why does this person even have a secure job? It, it feels like somebody shouldn't even be employed. I mean, what are you doing to the people at this job? It feels like there's a property manager who's very abusive to the people on this property. And, and, and like, why are you even employed there, sir? If it's a couple, why are they both employed there is what I want to know. Let's get a never, ever, have I ever, 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 have you never. It just feels like a real piece of shit. Let's find out some more. I can't believe we're at 43 minutes. Rock. Crack. So it's ketamine. Rock. This person throws, uh likes to throw stones as well. This is somebody that's always talking about somebody else's bullshit, but if you knew all the bullshit this person did, ooh, wee, people would be, they would get sick. Lied about what I did for a living just to get laid. Hmm. So this person is a, just a property manager and there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like this person has just also said that they had other things going on. They could say they own businesses too, or this, that, you know, this is just one of them people who, um, I feel like this person, man, this person's whole facade, their whole life has just been a lie. Everything that they've said is like what they wanted to be, okay? What, what they actually were, crashed a wedding. So it's just as somebody that doesn't like to see other people happy. This is somebody who was destined to be single and broke, ridden in a closed trunk of a car. Okay. I mean, I guess if there's no other... Yeah, I guess if there is no other place to see it, calm before the storm. Something about to pop off for the property manager, yo. Mm -hmm. The job always gets done. I, I, yeah, sedate. I feel like this property manager is responsible for fucking secretly sedating people. Delusions of Granger. Everything, everything revolves. This is somebody where like this. Listen, this is that type of person. This property manager is the type of person where if this is your landlord, they get off on the fact that they have some kind of 
um, bartering thing, which would be the property, right? So they, they gained allies by either like letting people hang there, letting people stay there either for free or this. He liked that. That made him feel important. And, and, and even like with, with the delusions of Granger, it even got to the point where this fucking person could have even started lying and said that he owned the property, that he was the actual owner, 4444. I don't feel, let's find out. It could be like somebody could have maybe wanted to get a franchise or something like that, but I just feel like this person is like a peasant. He's no different than an employee. Tell me the truth, spirit. This is property manager saying that they own the place. Oh yeah, they they told people they own this joint. Tell me the truth, spirit. Does this person own it? No, you're just a worker. This person is just an employee. Wow. Female calm before the storm happening to a female. This could be a female property manager. Listening to every word you say. What else is new? <laughs> Always listening to every word I say. Uh. Okay. Oh, okay. Larry. Larry could be listening to every word. Regardless. Some something about to happen and pop off with this property manager, the brother, the brother of this property manager or the brother in law. Um something about to happen. There's gonna be an argument or some something. It could be even someone getting locked up. Mm -hmm. Listening to every word that you say. Something from their past is coming back up again. This is something calm before the storm with people in your neighborhood, too. There's going to be some kind of fight. Yeah, look at look at this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's business is going down. Somebody may wind up losing a business because of this shit. They ain't got no motherfucking money, man. Some, somebody is, like, literally strapped financially, and it's because you're stealing, motherfuckers. Maybe they came for the right one this time. Maybe they stole from the wrong bitch or they tried to steal from the wrong motherfucker. Okay. <clears throat> Give me an initial for who was listening. Either there's a female listening to every word you're saying, or you are this female and people are listening to every word you're saying. Give me some initials for whoever um, is listening. Give me some initials for whoever's listening, please. Initials first. B or U. This could be buddy. Book. YouTube T or Y. You could have a YouTube channel. This could be Tyrone, Tyreek, uh, I don't know. Michael, MC, and their C. Share. Somebody listening to every word you said, and then what? Did they share the things that you said? I don't know what, what they're, whatever it is, or they're listening to every word that you're saying to see if you talk about personal shit. Henry? Henry? Cher and Henry. Cher and Henry, what's up with that? Trust nobody. Maybe that's it. You don't trust anybody. And, and maybe these people, whoever listens, like they could be listening through your walls to see like if you say any personal information or something like that. These motherfuckers can't hold on to any money at all, man. And that they think they're gonna take it from somebody else. Crumpled dollars, in his hand, yeah. There's somebody broke as shit, and and if you're trying to steal from this female motherfucker, I'm telling you, it's gonna be your last days, bitch. It's gonna be your last days, motherfucker. You keep trying to steal from this female, okay? You can listen to these nuts, motherfucker. You feel? You keep trying to take from this chick when you guys are supposed to lose. It's gonna be real uncomfortable for you. But don't you don't have to believe me though. Bite me, people. <laughs> Bite me. That, I guess that's how somebody talks. Bite me. Okay. Huh? 
person has powers. So if somebody's mad that another person has some kind of like powers to manifest, bring good things to themselves, it's because they're grateful, okay? It's because somebody doesn't allow themselves to be around people who drain their fucking energy. If you're around somebody and all they do is talk about the shit they're going through, it's literally this, hi, how you doing? Good morning. What's going on? Oh, you know, I'm doing this and this is happening. They're energy vampires. They fucking drain you. You can't be around these people. Okay, some of some of us won't be around them at all. Forty nine, forty nine. But you can't spend too much time. They will drain. You will you will find yourself exhausted. Okay, because all they talk about is negative shit. All they talk about is their goddamn shit. They don't ever ask you how you're doing ever. You will have a conversation with a fucking energy vampire, and they will literally go on and on about everything that's happening in their life. And they will never ask, so what's going on with yours? If you keep hanging with these types of people, you're going to not only have your energy drained, your fucking money will be drained, uh, your assets, everything, your self-respect, everything, your food, your drink, your smokes, your pills, whatever it is, they will drain you and take every fucking thing from you and they will never have anything to offer, okay? It will never be like this. It will never be balanced. An energy vampire leaves you literally flat, damn near like living in your bed, okay? Because you're so, you're always fixing their problem. So somebody here doesn't hang with people like that. So they, they have the ability to bring good things into their life. And if you think you're going to come in and disrupt that person's life, you're going to get motherfucking disrupted. You don't have to believe me, okay? That, that's irrelevant. But all I can say from personal experience is you are supposed to be taking losses like this person did, okay? This person probably lost everything. Right, with this ten of pentacles in the reverse, somebody didn't have any money, lost everything, right? They were penny pinching at one point too. Now they're not. Why? Maybe learn from the person instead of trying to steal from the person because you'll you'll never ever succeed in doing this shit, you know? Be careful of the people that you are hanging around. I'm telling you, man. It's like people, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, yeah, I know, you're right. And then it's like, so eventually the person who's trying to tell you what, what they learn from their own personal shit, which is why their life is different than it was before. They have things or they're just at peace. And they can tell you a million times, but it's like eventually that person is not going to fuck with you because it's going to be like, well, listen, I'm not going to drain my energy. If you're a, an energy vampire too, then we, we just got to part fucking ways. Maybe that's just all you like to be around. A lot of times these types of people like to be around each other because there's nobody in this group challenging anybody to be a better person. And they're just not ready. So you can't force them. You know what I'm saying? And so at that point, you have to politely put boundaries up. You know what I mean? Like, we can do a fucking how you doing once in a while. But I, I'm not going to let you drain me. I learned this lesson already. This is something I learned. I see right through you. I can see that you're, that you're not ready to change. Or you're not ready to cut certain people out of your life. I'm not going to let you all to fucking drain me, says you. Right? Like, this is the whole point of me, like, t learning the lesson is so that I don't allow myself to get physically drained, financially drained, spiritually drained, whatever the fuck it is, I won't allow it anymore. So if people think that you're rude because you pull boundaries up, let them think you're rude, okay? Because if they really, truly feel like, like that, they will think you're rude enough that they won't have to come ask you for shit either. You know what I'm saying? But you'll get some people that'll fucking talk shit behind your back, and then when they need something, you're the first person they motherfucking go to, okay? These are lessons in life that you have to learn. If somebody's not helping you grow, they have to fucking go, period. It's really that simple. We're not going nowhere. Love you out.